Hello, hello, Mike here from the Mind of My channel and welcome to a brand new series. If for some reason you're not looking at the screen, I'm going to be playing Terraria. That's right, you know what it is, and I'm sure you've played it before, but I have not played the newer version. I have played an older version, I played 1.0 quite a bit, but I haven't played the new version and I've been sort of looking forward to this for a while. 1.3 and it, it's, man, there's so much stuff been added. I don't even know what their stuff is. We're gonna find out together. We're gonna explore this game and yeah, I hope you like it. I, like I said, I have played this before but it's been a long time so I'm gonna have to be start out sort of, sort of slowly, <laughs> see how things go. So this game, especially in the beginning, is a little bit slow anyway. So there's not much you can do, that's just life. Hopefully you can see what's going on here. A hard aglet. 5% movement speed. All right, let's throw that over here. I found some lead bars. I found some rope. I see a slime coming in the back here, so let's just loot all and fight. Come here, slime. Oh, I can't really see you. Let's come out here. You wanna fight? Come out here. Is this rabbit about to attack me? All right, nope, but the slime is. All right, good. Okay, so I do have some torches here I found right now in this thing here, so let's light this place up a little bit. This, whoa, this can actually, what? why does that slime have bunny face? That is not appropriate. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna make this my house for tonight, I think. <laughs> Since I'm here, it's convenient. Early on in Terraria, the most important things really are wood, you need some wood, you need to collect some stone, and you need to make a crafting bench or workbench as I think it's called in this game. And a furnace to forge your stuff, forge your, uh, what do I want to say? <laughs> forge your ores. Why am I using, okay, there we go. So yeah, we gotta cut down some trees. Or, you know, at least in this game you start off with an axe. In Minecraft you start off with your fists. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who don't know, who haven't played this game before, you know, people sometimes refer to it as a 2D version of Minecraft. It's much more than that. There are so many items in this game. There are bosses. There is more of a kind of storyline almost. And there are so many different areas and dungeons. And it's pretty incredible, to be honest. You're going to love it if you haven't seen it before. And if you have, well, hopefully you like the way I play. I tend to start off slow as, you know, sort of you have to do. You have to start off slow. You will definitely get your butt handed to you if you venture... Oh, I just killed a squirrel. At, <laughs> at night, especially, there are a lot of monsters here. And it's actually, in my opinion, anyway, more difficult than Minecraft to survive, at least initially at night. So let's just kind of block this area off for a second. And I'm going to... Well, I'll cut down a few more trees, actually, but I'm going to block things off here. I don't want any, you know, undesirables coming into my house at night. <laughs> there are a lot of them, and some of them can fly. So, uh, yep, we got a pickaxe it. Why is this not working? There we go. Another thing you'll notice, probably, is I'm recording... I'm not doing 1080p for this one. Uh, I find that... This game, it doesn't scale well. You know, when, it, when it, you're going recording at 1080p, it looks too small. Everything looks too small. And if you're watching the videos, especially on a mobile device like a phone or an iPad or something, it can be quite hard to see. So I'm recording at 720p. It makes everything a little bigger and a little clearer. And that's really my only reason. Wow, look at that place. Okay, changed my mind. I want to build a house up there. <laughs> that's going to happen. I'm going to make me a tree house. I've never done that before. The version I played, I don't think had those huge trees, although I don't remember. I don't remember seeing those things. Man, that is a huge tree. All right. So, I haven't found any ores yet. And the sun is... is it going up or down? I don't even know. I think it goes from side to side in this game. I can't really remember. Maybe I should just actually go up there and build a little house up in the tree. What do you think? Also, am I not supposed to have a guide or something? I seem to remember a guide. Okay, let me... let me do that. Why not? Build a house in the tree. Why not? So the first thing I want to do is I need a workbench here. Which is gonna have to go... I'm gonna... I got shurikens! I got some potions. Recall potion. Alright, so, uh, I'm gonna wanna drop my workbench down. I'll put it here for now. I will kill a slime. Ugh. I wanna build some platforms that let me, uh, 
get up the tree easily. That's my plan, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, where are we? Let's do this quick before I get attacked again. There's another slime coming. Whip platform, give me a bunch. And quickly, get ready, fight. That's another thing too. In Minecraft, you really, there's nothing to worry about during the day, generally. Here, there are slimes everywhere, all the time. So you end up doing a lot of this. <laughs> Come on, I gotta get up the tree. All right, let's do this. Oh, okay, that was not great, but let's keep doing it. All right, one more. And I can't get up there. All right, I'm gonna have to sort of chop my way through for now. Why is that not working? Do I have to, oh, okay. Uh-oh, the slimes are coming. Let's get up, all right. Good, 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 here we go. Let's build a little platform across here. Man, these slimes are too good. How do I get rid of leaves? Well, there we go, problem solved. Okay, I like this idea of a treehouse. I'm liking it. <laughs> I always wanted a treehouse in Minecraft. In fact, I think I built one once in, in uh, the Lord of the Rings mod, but you haven't seen that on video. That was off camera before I started making YouTube videos. All right, so get rid of a few of these vines. We're gonna build ourselves a tiny little cabin right here. Uh, let's start here. Okay, all right, that's good enough for now anyway. All right, perfect. Perfect. Now I have a crafting bench down there, but I'm not gonna go back down there right now. I am going to make myself another one. Give me my workbench, throw it down. All right, the sun is going down soon, so I'm gonna wanna hurry this up. Uh, doors, where are the doors? Oop. Two doors. Give me two doors. Boom. And boom, all right. Now I need some walls. Where are the wood walls? Wood wall, there we go. Gonna need a bunch of those. See if that's enough. Probably not. I always tend to underestimate these things. <laughs> and I always tend to do that too. I hate when I go outside the OCD. Means I have to climb up on the roof and fix it later. See, see what I mean? I always underestimate how many I need. And then I overestimate. And then I end up with too many. <laughs> All right, there we go. We're generally okay, question mark? All right, open the door. Close, oh, wait a minute. Do I need a hammer or something to, yes, I do. Okay, I can't get rid of that right now. Gonna have to make do. Give me some light here. Perfect. All right, now what else do I need? Or in, okay, I don't really have anything else that I can do right now at this point. Ooh, there's a, look at that. There's a little bottle up in the tree. Okay, so I still have a little bit of time. Do I wanna go down right now? Maybe. Let's see what we can do down there. I really want some stone too before nightfall if possible. I wanna make a furnace, although a furnace is not gonna help me right now too much. Oh, you know what I can do? I can take this. Oh, and there's some stone right here. Perfect. Yeah, I don't know how much a furnace is gonna help me at this point since I don't have any ores to smelt, but hey, might as well do it while I got the time, right? First night. Okay. Let's take another roll. I don't know how much I need, I can't remember. But night is definitely falling, uh oh. I just heard something die out there. Okay, nighttime is coming. Wait, nighttime is here, <laughs> not even coming. All right, I'm going back. Hui, oh no, let me up. I don't wanna fight you right now. I wanna try and stay safe. All right, we're back. I don't know where my guide is. Don't, am I not supposed to have a guide? He must've gotten lost somewhere. <laughs> All right, so throw down my chest here. 
And I want to make a furnace, if I can, if I have enough. Do I have enough? I do! All right, we can make a furnace. Okay, got me a furnace. An anvil! Oh, a lead anvil! All right, I can make an anvil. I didn't know that. Awesome. Achievement complete. Heavy metal. So, that's good. <laughs> I don't really know how that's gonna... Man, there are a lot of monsters down there right now. Uh, I should have... Whoops. I should have probably placed some torches outside as well so I could kind of see what's going on here. Can I? All right, I can. All right, let's just leave it like that for now. The monsters are not happy. Wow, I'm glad I'm in the tree. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on down there. All right, so what else can I do? What do I have? I actually forget a lot of the recipes and stuff here. Okay, I have some rope. I have dirt, which is not particularly important. I have stone, all right. Shuriken, I have acorns. This can you these can be used. They're kind of like saplings in Minecraft. They can be used to plant more trees once you cut down trees. Rope, I have no idea what that's for. Mushrooms, I think these are for healing potions, maybe, or some kind of potions. I can't remember that either exactly. I don't have any healing potion. What is a shrine potion? Emits an aura of light. All right, so it's basically like a torch. I know, I remember when I played this before, I had a mining helmet or something that was awesome. So yeah, hopefully I can find that again. Actually, some of this interface is a little new to me. You can now dye stuff if you look over here on the right. I guess these are different colors for clothes, and then you have your social, which is what your character looks like, and then you have your actual armor, what it does for you. I already have this, my hard aglet, which... Plus one defense and increased movement speed. Oh, I do not have any armor at all. Maybe I can make some... Can I make armor out of wood? Well, I can! What does that take? Oh, it doesn't tell me what it takes. 20, 20 wood, 30 wood! All right, that's a lot. I don't have that much wood left. Wood greaves. What should I make? A fishing pole. Can you fish in this game now? Wow. All right. I can make a chain. Uh, I can make a wooden bow. A hammer. I definitely need a hammer. Oh, I do have healing potions. Forget I said anything. <laughs> healing potion here. Let's put the torches at the end. Healing potion. Okay. I got something. Wood walls. I don't really need those right now. Um trying to sort of go through here and remember what what all these things do and get used to the interface again. I've been playing Minecraft way too long and I kind of forgot. All right. Well, whoa, I can make minecart tracks. You can make minecarts? What? Lead fence, wooden fence, a sign, table, chest, chairs, door. Okay. All right. We're learning some stuff here. A tiki torch. <laughs> That's not a priority. My tiki torch is not a priority. Whoa, falling star. I'm not going down there right now, though. Let me, uh, we're gonna put a chair. Why can't I put a chair here? That's kind of weird. I can't put it close to the door, I guess. All right, well, I didn't really need a chair then. Well, let's just put it there for now. All right. And now I can also store stuff in here, which I'm probably going to. I don't really need, what's this, the rope? I don't need. Oh, I got a lot of rope. I don't need rope right now. Um, acorns, I also don't need. Lead, yeah, probably not right now. Wood walls, nope, not until I'm building again. Platforms, I might need. The rest of the stuff, I'll keep for now. Gel. Gel is very important. This can be used for... to make torches. And maybe potions as well? Healing potions? I can't remember. We'll find out. So, this is another thing that, you know... There's not much to do at night, at least initially. You can't sleep. Hey, my guide is... Wow, my guide is down there fighting. Did he always have a bow and arrow? I just remember him dying in the past. Now he's... Now he can fight? Well, good luck down there, buddy. Hopefully you can make your way up here. You can figure it out. If not, I'm gonna have to build a house down there for you, I guess. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. He seems to be alright for now, though. None of the slimes seem to be concentrating on them. They're all concentrating on me, which is not a good move. Anyway, yeah, there's not much to do at night initially. You kind of sit in your house. It is really dangerous out here. In my opinion, much more dangerous than Minecraft anyway. Minecraft, 
As long as you're sort of in a place where you can see them coming, you're fine. Here it's very easy to get mobbed and overrun very quickly. And some of the creatures fly and they're... Look at my sword. Eh. Eh. Yeah, I can't really do much. It's a little stabby thing. It's not good for swinging over your head or anything. So yeah, uh-oh. The guide's in trouble. <laughs> He's taking on zombies now. In a way, it's good because, look at this, he's got the tree to his back, so as long as he can stay back there, nothing's gonna get him from behind. Go, little guy! Alright, yeah, anyway, well, it's nighttime here, and, you know, I got you as a captive audience. I'll tell you one of the reasons why I really wanted to play this game on YouTube. This game was what got me into YouTube Let's Plays. I, in the past, I watched YouTube, but it was sort of more in a different light. I watch it to if I wanted to see a game review or some gameplay just to let me know whether I wanted to buy the game or not. But I never watched Let's Plays at all, really, until Terrario, Total Biscuit and Jesse Cox. I got really into that series and I loved it. And it's one of the things that got me into YouTube and got me interested in Terraria. And it is the reason this channel is happening right now. I don't think I would have really gotten into it if it wasn't for that series. So if you guys haven't watched that, I highly recommend watching it. <laughs> Even over mine. I'm just sitting here by myself playing. Those two guys were great in that series. They really sort of set each other off well. Their personalities went well together. And yeah, it's an amazing series. So that's one of the reasons why I'm doing it. Initially, I had planned to do this as a collaboration or a co-op with another YouTuber, but... Uh, once I played a couple of minutes just to sort of check the recording everything, I realized I'd forgotten so much that I would look like an idiot. So I'd like to play this single player and get myself back into the game and learn some of the new stuff. And then in the future, yeah, I'd like to do some co-op or a collaboration. Maybe I'll... I have a server here that can easily be set up and maybe I'll get a bunch of you guys, the viewers, on the server and we'll play around and... Yeah, it's gonna be fun. But right now, I'm gonna be learning the ropes again and I'm gonna play through a bunch of the game. There are a lot of new bosses, there are so many new items and areas that I, I, I have no idea. I just caught smatterings of it, sort of, by watching videos quickly or checking the wiki and I'm gonna have to check the wiki for the new version because... I mean, look at these guys down there. Those guys with the masks? I've never seen them before. Who are they? Are they even zombies? I have no idea what they are. <laughs> anyway, it's getting light again. So, we are going to get ready in a few minutes and we're going to head back down out into the world and we're going to see if we can, first of all, collect all that money down there. Look at that. And second, we are going to probably cut a hole through this tree and try to, or maybe dig around under it and try to... Uh, find some ores, find some things. I need a weapon. I need a better sword. An iron sword would be great right now. Right now I have a copper stabby thing. <laughs> a short sword, I think it is. And, yo, know, superior copper short sword. It says it right there. And I want a long sword. I want a faster we a weapon. I'd like to get a ranged weapon, and I forget how to craft arrows, although I know how to craft a bow. So, yeah, we're gonna figure it out. I thought daytime was coming, but it does not seem to be daytime yet. I'm also not sure if this bird up here is friendly or not. Let's find out. Bird, are you friendly? Are you just stuck here? All right, well, I have a hammer now. I can take this chance to kind of, there we go, fix my walls. All right, looking good. Looking good. Okay, the zombies, the zombies, Oh, I'm okay, here we go. I can control the zombie. <laughs> That's some AI in action right there. Another reason that it took a while for me to get this series started is it is surprisingly hard to record this game well. Like, I... Uh, if it's... Here's my experience. If it was full screen, when it's running in full screen, I cannot record at 60 frames per second. It locks it somehow to 45, sometimes even 30, and it's up and down, and it's all over the place. So I'm running it in a borderless window at 720p, and that just seems to work for the best for me. It's recording perfectly right now, and I hope it continues that way. All right, wow, look at that down there. We're gonna make a run down. I don't want the money, oh, the star just disappeared. Worst timing ever. All right, it's daytime though, the monsters are leaving. Now what I actually think I should do maybe is Although this does not seem like it's realistic in any way. <laughs> I am going to make a little passageway through this tree. I 
This does not seem to fit physics very well, but hey. We're gonna imagine it, it works. Now, I'm gonna also, well, wait a minute, hold on. Okay, that's not exactly what I meant to do, but hey, that works. <laughs> I need to make another door here. Let's make a door and I'll sort of, yeah, let's double door it. Should I? Yeah, why not? Yeah, extra protection. There we go, we got a door. Now, I'll build a couple of these things out. All right, we're good. Okay, my guide's about to die. Okay, hopefully I don't die from this. All right, good. There we go. There we go. Boom and boom. All right. Also not great on the OCD. How do I get this off? Okay, there we go. All right. Whoa. Okay, I thought that squirrel was going to attack. Right, let's see what we got over here on this side. I haven't been this way yet. I'm going to definitely need some more wood too. All right, let's keep moving. Ooh, what's this? Need a pickaxe. It's lead. I can't see lead being that useful, but you never know. I think I see copper down there. Is that right? Do I see copper? I also see something glowing over there. What is that? What's this? Oh, some kind of bird or something. All right. All right, we are in a scary tomb. Not a tomb, <laughs> a scary hole in the ground. Could be a tomb, you never know. Okay, I see something down there. I'm going down. We need some light, though. Okay, this is gonna be not that easy to get back up. Okay. Get my sword. Oh boy, slimes are all over the place suddenly. What's in here? Let's not look, let's just loot all for now. I don't know what I just got. I don't really need anything else here. Can I? Oh, I can. All right. I don't remember that working before. Hey. All right. We're almost out. Let's see if we can jump, jump, and we're out. Okay. That is a huge cliff. Okay. I'm not going up the cliff right now. The cliff is staying as it is. Hey. Okay. We're going to go back the other way and see what else we can find before nightfall. Okay, this might be a slightly inconvenient after a while, but considering there's a huge cliff on the other side, or a huge mountain, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be going that way. <laughs> I see some more copper down there. There's a lot of pumpkins around here, too. Okay, what do we got this way? We have a blockage that I have created. Let's get rid of that. Okay... And we have some water. All right. Oh, we have a bunch of copper here. That's good. Whoa, what is this over here? There's another tree over here with something else. There's like, I don't know what that is. Is that a dungeon or something? Okay, let's go find out. I don't know if these guys are going to be friendly or not. Let's find out. Okay. Whoa. Okay, where am I? <laughs> This does not look safe. Ugh. Ugh. What's this? Oh, it's like a little house. Wow. What is this? A leaf wand? Living wood wand? Silver bars? Wooden arrows? A swiftness potion? More torches? Living loom? Okay, all these things are new to me. Well, mostly. <laughs> not the torches. But, hey... You know what? This is fitting in every way. I mean, that's what I want, right? Am I? Are people going to get angry? Maybe I should just move in here. What do you guys think? Okay, I'm going down here. We're getting into dangerous territory. I don't know how far this thing goes. Lesser healing potion. Okay. Dangerous. Man, this thing goes forever. Ugh. Ugh. Man, this thing really goes forever. Okay, I am not equipped to be dealing with a lot of monsters, so I may be...
be getting myself in trouble here very quickly. <laughs> I don't want to lose everything. Man, this thing goes forever. Okay, I'm not going down there right now. I don't know what that is, but I'm not going. I need way better armor and stuff before I start venturing underground like this. I have nothing right now. I'm not even going to go in there. Nope, we're going to leave it alone. Leave it alone. I want to get back to my house before nightfall. Ugh. Ugh. I really think this actually might be a good place to build a house, now that I think about it. Up in this tree, if I can. Let me check it out. Because this is like the perfect mine. I have a, I have a mine, basically, in the, in the back of my house. Well, below my house. I can build one right here, and then I'm... Wait a minute. Then I'm surrounded by water. Well, that's kind of interesting. Whoops. <laughs> okay, I don't know. What do you think? Let me check this out. How far does this water actually go? Well, there's not that much water. It'll slow down the monsters, that's for sure. Let's see what's over here. Okay, well... We got a little bit more copper. That's more lead, I think. Let me just keep moving for now and see what else there is here. Ugh. Man, okay, this we could be going a long way here. And, okay, what's that? Just take a quick look. All right, I don't see anything else over there. Let's just keep moving back. I do not want to get caught out at night here. I just got a bunch of stuff. That's another thing. You generally keep your inventory... I'm playing on normal. I'm playing in a large world. I haven't told you that. But yes, this is a brand new character. I am playing on normal. I will come back for that lead as well. But yeah, I'm playing on normal. And as far as I know, um, you don't lose your inventory when you die. You do, however, lose your money. So any coins you've collected, you lose. So it is a good thing to put your coins away before you go somewhere dangerous in case you die. And then you don't need, really need to worry. See, I just got more money there. All right, now how far away was this from my house? Do I really need to build my house here, or should I continue where I'm going? Uh, okay, come here. Why am I attacking you with a pickaxe? All right, there we go. Okay, the guide's still alive, and he's still doing his thing. Hmm. What do I do? What to do, what to do? I think I'm actually going to build the house over there. Maybe? This house looks... Uh, this tree looks pretty tall, though. How about the other one? Was it tall? Here's the thing that's good about having a treehouse like that, is that I can use the other branches to expand my house. I'm not sure how easy it's going to be. You know, in Terraria, what you basically need to do is you need to build extra houses or rooms for new NPCs. And they will come once you've fulfilled certain sort of achievements. You've done certain things. You can get new NPCs and you can trade with them. You can buy stuff. And they're very important to the game. So, um... Let me build a few more platforms here. Man, I can't believe I found this leaf wand. What is that thing? I'm gonna have to check that out. Okay, this tree is not looking quite as tall, but let's... Whoop, whoop, no, 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 no. Ugh, ugh. Okay, ugh. Let's put another platform up here. Hey! Hey! Hmm. You know what? Nah, I think I'm gonna keep my old house. Where I was at before. That's what I get for looking at my hotbar instead of the screen. Alright. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep my old place. For now, anyway. Maybe I'll build a little kind of mine shaft kind of temporary house there, but I kind of like the one I got. 
This little cave thing could be interesting too. <laughs> Yeah, I like this one better. Definitely. We got a lot more going on up here. And it's a lot bigger. I'm gonna treat branches are a lot wider. So I'm gonna keep this for now. I wonder how, can you actually, when I cut down, no. I was kind of wondering if I could actually put the wood back as it was, but I guess I can't. So if I wanna build out here, it's gonna look a little weird like this right here, but there's not much I can do right now. Maybe I'll find a way to fix that. I'm not sure if I can. So the sun is starting to go down again. Let's, um, you know what? Let's go right here and let's build one. Can I cut from, nope, can't reach it. Can I build a platform right here? Then I can't jump up there. All right, this is not that easy to, to solve. <laughs> can I, eh, there we go. Oh, now I can get up. All right, there we go. Okay, so I want to build another platform little house thing here. Another thing you'll notice if you're used to, okay, that's a little awkward. If you're used to uh, Minecraft is that weapons and armor and other things don't degrade. So once you have it, you're pretty much set, which is a very good thing. I also kind of wonder if I can collect these things. Can I collect the leaves and put them back? Something like, is there something like shears? Like there is in Minecraft? I don't actually know that either. I have forgotten a lot. Okay, how do I keep doing this? Okay, there we go. Let's just do it like that. In fact, I'm gonna take this all down. I'm gonna make it into wood. It is becoming night. Let's try and do this quickly. Okay, I can't really do that, can I? I need to make a platform there, but let's just keep going for now. Now, I know what you're saying to yourself. You're probably like, Mike, this is just... <laughs> you're basically just building boxes. I know, I know. I'm trying to kind of get something done quickly, but I really do plan to build this out. The fact is I've forgotten quite a bit of it, like I said, and it will help a lot as I play through and remember. But for now, we're going ugly. I'm gonna put a couple of torches up here too, even though I haven't finished. Go back to my house. Hopefully fix this thing right here. Okay, there we go. Back to my house. Oh, I should probably put, maybe I can put a torch right in here. Let's double it. There we go, awesome. Okay, now I need a couple doors. No, I have a living wood doors. I don't need doors. Is that gonna work? Let us see. Ugh. All right, that is slightly inconvenient, but hey, we got two, Two doors, nice, living wood. I wonder what that means. <laughs> Whatever it means, they're mine now. Oh, that also means that I will need some new... Okay, I got a lot of doors here. I'm not sure I really need that door, to be honest. Uh, I had some walls in here, right? I did. And I'm gonna need quite a bit more. Give me some walls. Where are the walls? I don't know how many I need, but let's just go overboard this time. <laughs> 132. Hopefully that is enough. I hear monsters coming. Let's get up here. All right, we're inside at least. That is the nighttime music coming. <laughs> There are some very specific requirements for when you're building a structure for an NPC before they'll come and live with you. I think you need a table and a chair minimum and you need a door and you need to have walls and basically 
the the walls behind and you need to have the entire structure and it needs to be enclosed and you need to have I think it's a table and chair. It might have changed and I don't know. Oh man, are those fireflies? That is so cool. That is very, very cool. Now I gotta fix these things, obviously, the platforms. I just sort of built them to get up there. But you got a general idea of what we're doing here. So I'm not gonna leave you and, you know, talk through the entire night again. I'm gonna leave it here. Oh, look at that money. Okay. I spoke too soon. I'm going to get some cash. Thank you to the guide here. <laughs> That's amazing. I can just, he's like a monster. He's like a monster trap, basically. Like a monster farm. Thanks, dude. You're welcome to come up here if you want. I got like a house all set up and you're going to be able to come up here hopefully and fit in. Or maybe I can build one on the ground floor for him if he never wants to come up. Anyway, I hope you guys like it so far. It's going to be a little slow to start out with, but things will pick up once I relearn it and once we get fighting bosses and doing other exciting things like mining. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Please drop a like if you did and stay tuned for more. As always, have a great day.